Every month I'm bringing you data on the Austin area housing market. So if you're thinking about moving to Austin or if you're thinking about selling in Austin, you may want to pay attention to these numbers. So today I've got Dripping Springs, Texas for you. It is March 5th, 2024. This is what the data looks like in Dripping Springs. Let's take a look. Okay, so one of the first things that jumps out here is the number of active listings has almost doubled. Number's gone up a lot, but here's the interesting thing though. Look at what happened to move-in ready homes. That's up 28%, 39 homes. So 39 out of almost 200 are resale homes. The rest are new builder inventory. I was told by a builder the other day that fewer and fewer people are wanting to actually build a house from scratch on the ground with these uh, production builders. So they are doing a lot more um, spec homes, homes that are ready to go. People can walk into, buy it, and close it in 30 days. So that's an interesting note here in Dripping Springs, and I'm kind of seeing that all across the area. Under contract, we're up. Again, this is normal for this time of year. We're up 33% over last month. Um, average days on market is starting to come down, and again, not down a lot, but we see that this time of year. Those days on market are starting to drop because the supply is getting a little bit lower. Um, average sales price is up about 8%, $66,000 here in Drip, but Reminding you, last month it was down almost the same amount, so we're about we're about even for the year so far. And then our closings are starting to go up now as well in the beginning of March, um, up 69 percent. We're going to see the closings continue to go up in April, May, and June. That is just normal. We'll see what happens with July and things like that. But for right now, everything that I've thought it, it was going to happen is happening. We're seeing price increases um, or the the average close price is going up. Um, we've got a lot more listings than. No Notice I, I told you, I believe in January, that it felt like a lot of the builder inventory had fallen off the market and went expired. That's what's happening. So we're seeing that builder inventory uh, add back on right now. Um, but as this busy buyer season, which usually lasts until about July, um, continues on, we're going to see more and more of that stuff going away. Now, Keep an eye on the under contracts and the closings because as those go up, prices are going to continue to go up. And I'm still predicting Dripping Springs is going to see somewhere between three and four percent um, appreciation this year. So everything is uh, planning or playing out the way that I thought it would. Um, we'll keep an eye on interest rates and see if they can at least hold stable. If they hold stable or improve, you know, we're going to see the same uh, the same appreciation taking place in Dripping Springs. All right, guys, remember every month you're getting data like this and there's a lot more other information on this YouTube channel. So if this is interesting to you, make sure you're subscribing to it. All right, we'll talk to you soon.